All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling one of the scriptures. Salutations to Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And uh, this is going to be a quick lesson. Um, you know, first and foremost, this is to myself. Uh, and um, before I go into anything, man, you know, because the Lord called us in this truth because. We were given this truth, all right, and we were given this truth by prophecy. All right, so what does that mean? The Lord, the Lord wants us to go and use our perspective, because we have the Spirit of the Lord to teach His Word. All right, to grow. All right, to fulfill what we're supposed to fulfill to the best of our ability, according to the Scriptures, according to the Spirit of, and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and we can't. Keep making excuses, man. Okay, it's, it shouldn't be the, the the excuse level should go down more and more as we get towards the end, man. Because what the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, the entity that's about to come to this planet, that's about to appear as a thief in the night, is not going to accept excuses, man. Okay, and once again, this is to myself first and foremost. Okay, because we've all done it, and we can't make. We can't make excuses. We can't make that habitual, man. Okay? So this is the word uh, excuse in the online etymology dictionary. It says, mid-13th century, attempt to clear someone from blame. Find excuses for it. Apologize. Make excuse excuses. Pardon. Exonerate. It says, make an excuse for Plead an excuse and this is a point right here. Release from charge. Okay? Stop trying to release yourself from a charge. All right? Of what? Doing this work. Of what? Growing. Of what else? Doing what you're supposed to do. All right? Keeping order. You know, you have brothers that uh, when it comes to doing lessons, it's always an excuse with your phone, man. Man, my phone, man. You know, I couldn't. Man, my phone, man. You know, that's bullshit, man, because you can easily tell, you can easily tell a brother that you need help with your phone. You need, you need to buy another phone. You need some funds for a phone. Now, while on the other hand, you can use that same phone <laughs> to call women, all right, to go out and do folly. But somehow that phone can't uh, record and upload your lessons, man. And that's an excuse. You know, now, now, of course, you're going to have in some cases where your phone is actually messed up, but the habitual excuse of my phone, my phone, this, my phone, that, you know, as well as other excuses, man, you know, it's so many to name that others be making, man, you know, and it has, it has to stop. And I told, and uh, once again. And to myself, first and foremost, whatever excuses that we're we're trying to use to uh, uh, release us from charge, as the etymology says, all right, all right, whether it be your woman, kids, whatever, <laughs> you know. Now, it's not saying don't take care of your kids. You have to take care of your kids. You have to be responsible, all right. The scripture speaks on uh, taking care of of your children, man. But that can't come before, all right. That can't come before the truth. Whatever you're doing in this wicked world, there's really nothing to do in this world. It's locked down. It should come after you do the work. It should come after your responsibilities. Okay? Prioritize, as they say. All right? Because what? With this truth, the Lord said to feed his sheep. Okay, he told Peter three times, man, feed my sheep. All right, we're supposed to be pushing this word out. We're supposed to be getting these lessons in. All right, we're supposed to be getting these lessons to brothers. All right, so they can be screened. You know, if you're a, 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 a disciple, senior disciple, etc., man, or if you're at the level where you have to get video screened, man, we shouldn't be, <laughs> we shouldn't be making the same mistakes and making an excuse for it, man, constantly. Now, once again, yes, you're going to have times where stuff is not going right. Your phone not working. All right. But that can't be a habitual problem. And you have to fix problems like the brother, um, the brother, uh, 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 
the brothers of Ab, the elders of Ab in Mississippi, man, we have to climb obstacles and climb mountains. We can't keep getting stuck down at the bottom of the mountain or getting halfway up and then sliding back down, man. We have to eventually climb mountains and get over obstacles, man. That's what the Lord likes, effort. Okay? Let me get a scripture real quick. And it's not going to be long. It's just, you know, so myself first and foremost, man. This is Luke. This is Luke 14 and 16. It says, Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. And he sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. Let's see what it says in the interlinear. In the blue letter. It says to ask alongside, beg to have near one, to obtain entreaty, to beg from, to ask for, supplicate, to avert by entreaty or seek to avert, to deprecate. So you're trying to avert all right, from what you're supposed to be doing. You're trying to avert <laughs> from your duties, man. All right, and we can't do this, man, because the Lord is not dealing with that spirit, man. Okay, make an effort to do what you're supposed to do. Yes, it's hard for all of us to, you know, do. It's, it should be challenging, more challenging now that this pandemic, so-called pandemic hit, plandemic is what we call, it should be called, you know. But the Lord wants us to show an effort, man. Make more, make more of an effort. All right, show the Lord that you want to be saved, man. You know. Now, again, things are going to come up. Shit is going to happen. All right, but for the most part, the excuses should not be habitual, man. You shouldn't be giving the same excuse about when a brother asks you where your lessons are. Oh, my phone this, my phone that, man. Nah, man. But you can use that same phone once again to call hoes. All right, you can use that same phone to uh, plan uh, 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 to be around a uh, 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 plan folly. But you can't upload or do your work with that phone, man. It's madness, man. And that's an excuse, man. And I was watching a brother from um from Louisiana. He said that's a that's excuses are traits of a sluggard, man. Effort is traits of a champion, a winner. You see? It says to shun, avoid, to avert displeasure by entreaty, to beg pardon, crave indulgence to excuse of one excusing himself for not accepting a wedding invitation to a feast. So the Lord is giving you this wedding invitation, all right? And all you have to do is uh, groom yourself, which is grow up in this truth, grow up, <laughs> you know, get better, all right? You're going to fall, of course, but you get back up and keep going. And that's how you get better. You're grooming yourself, all right? But with that, you have, uh, <laughs> when you make an excuse, that means you're uh, a declining the Lord's invitation, man. And you don't want to decline an invitation out of destruction, man. I know I don't want to. So I'm going to give an effort, all right, to do what I'm supposed to do to the best of my ability, man. All right, and we all have to work on it. That's why I said three times to myself first and foremost, man. But excuses, the Lord is not dealing with no excuses, man. The Lord is, uh, uh, I just watched the, um, the brother Kanat in uh, San Francisco, man. The Lord is a man of business, man. The Lord wants us to take care of our business, all right, concerning this work, all right, concerning a, a, a fellowship and when we can, concerning our daily lives, taking care of our children, but it's all a balance, all right, and for the, and for the most part, this invitation out of destruction comes first, all right, so we can't be the one that's uh, 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 declining the invitation to this wedding, by making an excuse Luke 14 and 17 and sent and 16 then said he unto him a certain man made a great supper and bade many and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden come for all things are now ready and they all with one consent began to make excuse the first said unto him I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it 
I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So, you know, you could be <laughs> the Lord will always look for other people outside of you just in case you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. So the Lord will go out and, you know, and, and, and continuously try to find people that's supposed to that, that wants to do his work. And you're going to you're going to give your invitation to somebody else through the spirit, man. OK. We have to neglect all this stuff. All right, because the Lord said he'll give it all to us back in abundance. And this stuff is low level. This stuff is primitive. What the Lord is bringing to this reality is stuff out of this world, man. Work for that. Make an effort towards that. Don't make excuses. <laughs> you know, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. So the Lord is basically saying you have to neglect all this stuff of the world and follow him. OK. Neglect that stuff. All right. Not completely, but in a sense, put the Lord before all those things. The Lord comes first, then those things. All right. It's not literally saying hate your mother. Hey, you're supposed to hate. <laughs> you're supposed to uh, 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 love the Lord more than them. OK. That spirit of loving them more than the Lord, you're supposed to hate that type of spirit. And it's not saying hate them. It's saying hate the spirit of putting them over the Lord. All right. So we can't make excuses, man. <laughs> and this is again to myself, first and foremost. If you're having trouble doing a lesson, read. Put some four precepts together. Do the lesson. All right. Go to go to work. Try to try to work hard as you can. Pay your bills to the best of your ability. All this is 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 a, it's, it's culminating into what the Lord is a, a, a requiring of us, man. And it's a part of grooming ourselves for this wedding that's coming when the Lord comes, man. Okay. So really, the point was in, it was is not to make excuses, man. I don't want to make this extremely long. Call hello, you how about Shimei Shai, Lord willing, it was edifying. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Salutations to Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Bible ball.